You're watching Beginner's Guide to OS X, Episode 2, The Finder. Hi, it's I Talk Apple. As you can tell from the um, title, today we're going to go over more about a little more about the desktop, and then I'm going to go into the Finder. So, yesterday I did not mention that you can change, actually, yeah, you can change the um, background of your desktop by going into system preferences I'll go into that later and you can change the way the desktop looks by right clicking and going to show view options and then you'll get this little window here and um, you can change the icon size so if I go up, my icons are getting much bigger. You can change the grid spacing of them so make them really close together. And change the text size of the label. So if I make it 16, it'll be really big. If I make it 10, it'll be small. I like it at 12. And you can change the label position. You can make it right or bottom. If you want to show the icon preview, that means that if you have a picture, so I'm just going to get, um, if I drag this on my desktop, see there's a little preview. If I uncheck that, it just shows it as a quick time movie. And you can show the information of it, so I don't like that because it makes it too cluttered. And you can also arrange by um, the date, the size, the kind, and so on. I also didn't mention last time that if you have a bunch of windows open, I'm just making new finder windows by pressing command N. Minimize each window. It goes into the dock. And if you want to open up a window slowly you can press shift. But I don't want to get into all that stuff right now because I'm just showing you the basics. Now I'm going to talk to you about the finder. It's different than Windows Explorer. Um, the finder I like personally a lot better because the way it's organized, especially in Leopard. Um, you have your devices, which are the, if you have any CD inside and your hard drive and an external hard drive that's devices um, places are your desktop um, home which you can change the name of mine's my name um, movies applications documents music pictures downloads and then I added stuff into places that I um, go into a lot and you just add stuff by taking it and dragging I don't want to do that. Um, and you can take stuff out of places. Like let's say you don't really want um, music. You just, there's that poof ball. And you drag it out. I don't want to do that either. And you can show it or you can hide it. So there's also something search for. You can click today yesterday, past week, all images, all movies, all documents, and then you just go into the search box up here and type something. Okay, 
desktop if you click here that's just everything that is on your desktop um, home it shows these again you can um, drag stuff out of your home um, movies is movies applications everything else is self-explanatory you have a documents folder but I don't really use it I have a school folder that I use for and then I have out of school stuff um, okay you can also change the way everything is displayed in the finder so let's say I want it to be displayed in icon view you you click up here and then there's the list view um, this view, I don't know what it's called, but um, I like this better than this view because it's like the same except every time you click on something, it just kind of, yeah, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you, you saw. And there's cover flow, which is like iTunes, um, just scroll around. And what's cool about CoverFlow is if you make the window really big, you can see the text that you typed. Um, another thing, there's something in Leopard, a very useful feature called Quick Look. Um, it's this shortcut right here. It's like a little eye. Click it and there's quick look you can also use the space bar to activate quick look and if you have a picture for quick look um, let's say I wanted to quick look this you can then add to iPhoto or you could do full screen Um, quick look is really useful because that way you don't have to open your photo viewing application or word to look at something but if you actually are editing it then you have to open the application um, here we have okay so let's say I want to go back you just click the back button it's the same in Explorer um, this here, this little option, you can add a folder, um, open, open with, move to trash, get info, and so on. Um, you can also customize what's in the toolbar by right-clicking and going customize toolbar, or you could click view and then over here. But um, and you just drag them in, or you can drag the default set. So that's pretty much it for the basics of Finder. Um, it's organized really easily, and everything on a Mac is just drag and drop. So it's really easy to get used to. I don't know what the next episode will be on. Oh, yeah, you know what? The next episode will be on system preferences. So thanks for watching, and I'll post the next episode probably later today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Shiny White Box, great software for Mac. A link is provided in the video description.